colonial project, there is no, if you know the history, there is zero doubt Israel is a colonial project and it's really sad because it tricks a lot of people into believing in, in it. Someone saying, yeah, Samina, shout out, Bush, you are either with us or with the terrorists. That's exactly, then. and yes, the legacy of colonial binary thinking, that's exactly right. Like, you're, it's either this or that, and there's no other possible way, and so then we get stuck, right? And so we need to understand the Zionist movement like that. It's in a framework of empire. It's not a liberation movement for Jews at all. No liberation movement assimilates to become the oppressor of anybody else. That's not how we understand liberation at all. And again, this is a tension and it's existed in Christianity and it existed in Judaism and it exists in Islam and it exists in all of our worlds, whether we call them faith communities or secular movement, revolution, these tensions of how power is going to circulate. Is it going to circulate from above to below and then extract again back up to the above? So circulate in that hierarchical uh, vertical way. Or is it going to circulate more horizontally where all of us are different and we're respected for all of our differences, right? That's the liberation movement. To be with empire is to be captive into either the above, below, the master slave, master slave, and the whole thing is about uh, you're oppressing me, so I'm going to fight you so that I can oppress you, right? And that's what a lot of Zionists believe about Palestinians and about us too. A lot of white folks call uh, uh, white supremacist folks, they believe that if we were to get our freedom, that we would do to them what they did to us as if we're just out for revenge. Like if we were out to do what has been done to us, we would become the monsters that we fight. We wouldn't be uh, in a part of a liberation project anymore. So Zionism is not part of a liberation project. That is still a question for our Jewish relatives and they've been having it forever. And they're growing in strength, that position, thank goodness, because Zionism has really hijacked a lot of what we understand to be Jewish. And it makes it so that, as we're seeing now, even through law, making it so that any criticism of Israel is understood anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish. So it's trying, Zionism has been trying to define itself as Judaism, Judaism as Zionism. And there have been Jewish folks who've been resisting that forever and hopefully that resistance can grow and we can contribute to it and be a part of it with all of our worlds too it's not just this tension that's happening within judaism it's a tension again as i mentioned with christianity this has happened before um even zionism the co-optation of christianity by constantine by the roman empire and having then a christianity a religion of empire rather than a religion of creation, of nature, of Mother Earth, of respect, and about love. So.